Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you one of my most favorite newly introduced Generation 8 Pokemon, Alchemy. Now besides a good design in general, this Pokemon also has an amazing characteristic. It's forms. There are 63 known forms of Alchemy. 70 if you include its shinies, which is way more than any other Pokemon. Now while these forms aren't necessarily super different from each other, I think it's still a cool way for a trainer to personalize their own Alchemy. The form cannot be changed once your Milseri evolves, however, so it's helpful to see what each one looks like before finalizing it. First, I'm going to show you what all 63 forms look like in-game, and then I'm going to show you how to get them. There are 9 different creams, which is the body portion of Alchemy, and 7 different sweets, which affects the eye color and the decorative pieces on top. While looking through these forms I'm about to show you, write down which one interests you so you can see what you need to get one later on in the video. Okay, alright, here we go. Here are Alchemy's 63 forms. Okay, as you've seen, there are quite a few forms, and again, there are seven different types of sweets, and five of them are kind of easy to get a hold of, so we'll start with how to get those first. You can earn the strawberry, berry, love, clover, and flower sweets all the same and relatively easy way. Follow these steps if you're interested in any one of those sweets. First, we can fly to Moto Stoke. You'll need two Pokemon in your team that are capable of battling high-level Pokemon. Visit the cafe behind the Pokemon Spanner and speak to the guy behind the counter. You can battle this man one time per day, and if you beat him in a battle, he will give you one of 22 items at random. If the item you receive is not the sweet you're looking for, go ahead and fly to Hammerlock. There is another battle cafe not far from the Pokemon Center here, so beat the man there as well. And if again you don't get the suite you're looking for, fly to Winded for the third and final battle cafe. I recommend battling this guy with one Pokemon that knows Earthquake and the other Pokemon as a flying type. That way you can sweep both of his at the same time and you don't damage your teammate. Now if you've battled all three battle cafe clerks and you still haven't gotten the suite you want, you can either wait until tomorrow or we can date skip. Now, if you don't know how to date skip, follow my instructions very carefully. First, we're going to fly to Hammerlock Hill. Use your watts to buy a single wishing piece. You can buy it from this watt trader over here. And when you have your wishing piece, 
make your way to this den over here. Throw your wishing piece into the den and when the game saves, choose the option to invite others. After this, press the home button on your controller. Make your way to the switch system settings, choose system, and then date and time. Here you can change the date one day ahead. Go back to Sword and Shield and choose quit from the den searching. It's now officially the next day, so you can go back to the battle cafe and challenge the clerk again. So go ahead and battle all three clerks every day and continue date skipping until he gives you the sweet you desire. Just as a side note, date skipping does not affect your game negatively. I've done it a million times and then you can just return back to your date. You will not receive any negative punishment for that. Now, unfortunately, Game Freak has sadly locked the acquisition of the Star and Ribbon Suites behind DLC and certain events. So if you're looking to get these and you don't have the DLC, you're going to sadly need to trade a kind soul online for it. To get these sweets, you will first need a few of the other five sweets that I just demonstrated, and a ton of wishing pieces. So, if you've date skipped like I just showed you, you should have some serious wattage by now, as well as a few sweets. So, buy at least 20 wishing pieces from any watt trader in the wild area. I suggest opening your bag and pressing Y to favorite all of your sweet items as well as the wishing pieces. Next, fly to the Fields of Honor, Dojo, in the Isle of Armor. Go inside and make a right to visit the cram o -matic. This machine, despite how ugly it is, is very helpful. It accepts four items in exchange for a different one, and it's incredibly complicated. So if you're looking to get the star or ribbon suite, there are many ways of doing this through the cram o -matic, but literally every one of them sucks. So I will only show you one of them anyways because it is by far the easiest one. Interact with the cram o -matic and it will ask you for four items. The order you feed these items into this machine are very important, so pay attention, kiddos. The first item you want to put in is any one of the other sweet items. Strawberry, berry, love, clover, or flower. The other three items are wishing pieces. Once your order looks something like this, submit it to the cram matic and it will drop one of three items in return. The star sweet, the ribbon sweet, or a strawberry sweet, which sucks because you can get those from the Battle Cafe method. Now that you have the right sweet, let's go ahead and figure out how to evolve your Milcery into the right cream. Lots of Pokemon have strange evolution methods, and this is definitely one of them. Milcery evolves into Alchemy when holding one of the sweet items, and you make your character spin around. Yeah, strange. The time of day also helps determine which cream the form you get, as well as the direction you spin. There are nine cream forms, so there are nine methods of evolution. Give the desired sweet to your milsery, and let's learn how to evolve into these forms. I will be demonstrating with my favorite, the Clover Sweet. First, save your game. If you make a mistake and don't get the alchemy you want, you can power down your game without saving after evolving to retry. For Vanilla Cream, spin clockwise for less than 5 seconds during the day. For Ruby Cream, spin counterclockwise for less than 5 seconds during the day. For Caramel Swirl, spin clockwise for more than 5 seconds during the day. For Ruby Swirl, spin counterclockwise for more than 5 seconds during the day. For Matcha Cream, spin clockwise for less than 5 seconds at night. For Salted Cream, spin counterclockwise for less than 5 seconds at night. For Lemon Cream, spin clockwise for more than 5 seconds at night. For Mint Cream, Spin counterclockwise for more than 5 seconds at night. And finally, for the rainbow swirl, spin for more than 10 seconds between 7pm and 7.59pm in game.
Okay, and also here's a little bit of information and technicalities here. You can change the system time on your console to be the time that you need. It's very helpful here. For those evolutions at nighttime, go ahead and change the time to 1 a.m. And for those in the daytime, change your time to 1 p.m. This will give you plenty of time to get to alchemy you want. Also, to note, spinning starts from the time your character does the little spinning animation, not when you start spinning the controller. So just to show an example, if I want, let's say, a mint cream berry sweet alchemy, I would get a berry sweet from the battle cafe and let Nilsery hold it, and then I would spin counterclockwise for more than 5 seconds at night time. So that's all of the info I have on evolving Nilsery into Alchemy and Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's definitely one of my favorite newer Pokemon because of its customization, and I'm not sure that the acquisition of these forms will actually be a thing in the future games of Pokemon. It's very possible that these will be the only games that you can get every form in, similar to Shellos and other things like that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how to do these evolution methods. I will guide you the right way. And as always, guys, Technos out.